Hello guys and welcome to another Car Exposed video. Today we're going to be working on my own car. It's a Renault Megane Mark III 2013 1.5 DCI. I've done 201,000 miles and I've been having some warning lights for the last four days. Uh, one for uh, the engine management lights on, the spanner lights on and a message check injection system. And the other light um, check emission system or something like that I put I put the pictures on the screen now right so that that's what I'm having and it's on most of the time and sometimes it goes away like now we just start the car it was on and now I start the car gone away so I'm a bit puzzled with this one but I did scan the car um, my Delphi doesn't doesn't work with this car, so I'm using this um, Hotel Max gun here. So one of the codes P0471 exhaust pressure circuit sensor A circuit range performance. That's a generic code there. And P0380 glow plug heater circuits A also generic. Um, I'm a bit puzzled about this one because I can't see the relation between maybe the GPF pressure sensor or the exhaust pressure sensor a range being out of the, the what the ECU requires because the glow plug I can see the glow plug kind of messing with the emissions a little bit but I can't see the, you know the other way around but anyway uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna check for the uh, exhaust pressure sensor if they're all good I and then I'll look into the, the glow plugs I guess Okay guys, so I've got all set it up here. So that's my exhaust pressure sensor here. It's a three wire one. So it should have ground, uh, five volts reference and then signal. That's my multimeter on the 20, 20 volt scale there. All right, so I've got one lead going to the ground, the battery, and the other lead going to, to that green wire. So I'm gonna turn the engine on now. Green wire, and I, as you can see there, that's probably my ground. So let me go for the, the red wire, which is the middle one. So yeah, that's that's my signal wire. I should have it between half a volt and about five volts. So I'm gonna leave you here when I accelerate. That should that should change. Scope out on a 0.8 volt, so I think that's all good for my signal. Now, should I have 5 volts reference on a sort of like pinkish wire? And there we go. 4.95. Sensor seems to be working fine. No problem with the sensor. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna remove this engine cover, then I'm gonna check the glow plug right guys so I'm gonna start removing the the turbo pipe and then I've got the throttle body pipe here as well which is, is just held by this clip remove the clip that comes out the way so it gives me more room to remove all this wiring this wiring loom here There we go, so that's out the way. Now the turbo pipe got this clip here. Super easy. And then remove this pipe. Ah, there's another 
nuts to undo here that holds the pipe. Right, and then you have another clip at the back there. I already pull it up, so that should be ready to move here. There we go. And we now we have two 10 millimeter uh, bolts, one here, one there, and then two clips at the front here. One here, oh, just underneath here, just there. So two clips at the front and then two at the top there. Right, so the glow, glow plugs you can find on one in each cylinder, just in between, just underneath the, the injectors, one in there as well. So I'm gonna pull the connector up, that's one of them. and clean, no corrosion, right. third one, again lovely and clean, right, cylinder two, again nice and clean, lovely, and then number one, lovely, look all right actually, so what I'm gonna do? Right, so at the moment they are grounded, so I'm gonna get my power probe. I'm probably just gonna touch on the tip of the glow plug. If if they find path to ground, we know. Well, we don't know that it's good, but if it doesn't find path to ground, we know it's bad. Anyway, and then we can take them out, check for check for resistance. And if, if I find one bad, probably gonna replace all of them. Okay guys, so I've connected up my power probe there. And I'm using that because you can hear the beep, just in case we find path to ground. But you can use your test light as well. So go number one. There we go, that's the injector there. So I know, at least we know it's not an open, open circuit with the glow plug there we go again off to ground and as you're doing this just make sure you don't obviously send power to anything All right that third one is a bit tight that one's a bit tight oh there we go Again, third one. Then we got the fourth one. Just there. Uh oh. Yeah, this one's bad. See, I can't. See, it's not, not beeping. See, not beeping. So we do have a, a open on that glow plug so let me put them out and then we can test all, all of them we've got all the glow plugs lined up here and I number them as well and as you can see you can see the difference between number one and number well number one number two and three seems pretty normal the number four you can see the, all the black carbon there so definitely an issue coloration there as well we do have the number one as well but anyway this car has done a 200,000 miles so I'm gonna apply power to that uh, glow plugs and let's see if it glows right change my mind guys I'm gonna do a resistance check first should be 
something close to zero will be good. So this is the glow plug number one. And as you can see, pretty close to zero, zero ohms. So that is a pass. Number two, again the same, pretty good connection. So we've got good circuits inside. Number three, the same thing. Number four, which was the one that we can get connection, open line. So the circuit, sorry, number four. So the inside of the glow plug, obviously, we have a damage there, we have a break in the circuit. So that's definitely gonna, that's never gonna, that's never gonna glow. But let's do a glow test. So number one, number one glow plug, we know this one is good. If I apply power, and you can see straight away it's smoking. It should glow pretty red. And I can feel the heat. It's glowing all the way down. It's pretty good, it went pretty quick. I don't know how quick it, it went, but... So this is number one, we know it's good. Let me get number four now. So this is our number four. And you can see all the marks there, look at that. That's definitely no good. No good for the cylinder. Apply plower. Nothing, I can't feel any heat in my hands. No smoke, nothing. I can literally hear, stay here forever because there's a breakage in the system anyway. So it's cold, 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 look at that. So that's it guys, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna replace all of them. I do have some glow plugs in the shed. So I'm gonna go and pick that up and replace them. So here we have it guys, we've got four new glow plugs, NGK. Uh, I've got to fit them in. Um, 15 newton meter of torque. So I'm just going to put them in and see what happens. I've checked them for resistance, they were good, obviously they are new. I applied a smidge of anti-seize there, just my preference. And yeah, I'm just gonna fit them in. in took them up to 15 newton meters now I just need to put that cable back on nice and nice and clean nice and those connectors here those they are really nice and well in a good condition let's say <clears throat> on and the last one over here That's it guys, I'm gonna put all everything back, the cover back, all the pipes, and then we are ready to test the car. Okay, so all finished here, all buttoned up, ready to go. 
it's the same process of taking off I just replaced that clump there or clip so yeah it's pretty easy so let's start the car now obviously I didn't have any lights didn't have any warning lights before but let's go ahead first of all let's go ahead and clear the codes so I've got my lights on here guys it's getting dark back there we go erase codes is it done Does if anything come back comes back no start the engine I'm not gonna be able to see straight away because I didn't have any lights on but I'm I can guarantee I would come out tonight and that light would come on. Obviously, I didn't have any warning lights in the, in the start of the video, um, so I can't guarantee there was a repair, uh, but I did take pictures of the, the warning in the beginning, I showed you in the, in the beginning. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drive this car for at least 100 miles tonight. I'm working with this car tonight, and I can guarantee in the, in the past four or five days, it has the anti-pollution uh, check system lights being on for about 90% of the time and then the injection system uh, check light probably about 60% of the time so it's all very strange to me because obviously we had a glow plug problem the glow plug was it was gone and the injection system light would come on just 60% 60, 60 of the time you know it should be on for me in my opinion it should be on all the time so I, I don't really understand that uh, we checked that sensor for, for for the exhaust pressure and that was working okay I actually afterwards I, I removed the pipe from the sensor and I blow the, the, the pipe and it, there's no blockage um, so could it be the glow plug that was causing all this issue I don't know so it's a really good question so we're gonna do i'm not editing this video obviously now i'm gonna drive the car for at least another week and then i can put it on the screen here if it was the problem or not And that's it i hope you enjoyed the video i hope the video helps if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe like it leave any comments if you have any comments about the job any concern any any questions just leave it below i don't know if i explained it very well today i, I just feel like i could have done it a little bit more but it is what it is thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers